the Voyager is about to set sail on this big ship across the Baltic from northern Germany to Sweden. Bon voyage, voyager. In the summer of 2020, I bought my favorite minivan in the world, an Austria-built Italian diesel engine 1994 Chrysler Voyager with a stick shift. Unfortunately, it was dead and on another continent, but I flew from Michigan to Germany, fixed it, then I decided to take it on its first major test. I drove from Germany way up into Upper Sweden, where a reader had jokingly invited me, thinking there's no way I'd actually go there. All right, so it's six in the morning, and I've landed in Trelleborg, and I'm headed to Gothenburg, which is the home of Volvo. It's Gothenburg. All right, there's the headquarters of Polestar. I'm here with Nick at Kansen, who happens to live in Gothenburg, who uh, works for a certain automobile company that I won't mention. This is where, where we design our cars. All right, so this, this is the Polestar headquarters here. A lot of really cool electric cars, all lined up. Woohoo! Hey. Michael, Nick, whom hey. I actually worked with in Auburn Hills, Michigan, <laughs> and who now lives in Gothenburg, Sweden, which is absurd, but that's, 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 where, that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> we're just kind of uh, loitering under a bridge. Yeah. That's what we're doing. All right, I've spent the last few hours bumming Wi-Fi from this Burger King in Gothenburg, Sweden. Tomorrow morning I have an appointment with Koenigsegg. So uh, that's about two hours away um, in Angleholm. So I'm gonna find a place somewhere in between here in Angleholm where I can sleep in this van and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna bathe. Because I don't want to show up to Koenigsegg all musty. I'm showered in two days. All right. I'm waking up in the van, um, headed to Engelholm, Sweden to see uh, Koenigsegg. It's pretty freaking cold. Let's see what the temperature is. 45 degrees. You know, not horrible. All right, so I haven't quite figured out the shower situation here in Sweden. So right now the plan is to just bathe in the Baltic Sea. I've got some, um, like environmentally friendly soap so I shouldn't kill any seagulls or fish in the water well I'll admit it smells a little fishy but you know maybe the soap will uh, fix that <sighs> holy crap that water is so cold Ooh, that is so cold I don't know how I got here but I'm bathing in the Baltic Sea just before I'm headed to kill the We're going in. Oh, oh God, it is so cold. All right, so I managed to lose my glasses in the Baltic Sea. I don't know why I was wearing my glasses to bathe. I switch hands and then I just sort of let go of them. Um, luckily, I travel with contacts as a backup, but I'm gonna. I only have a few of them, so I'm gonna have to find some glasses here in Sweden somewhere. Okay, we are rolling up to Königsegg. Königsegg is an engineering powerhouse. They've developed some of the most incredible supercars of all time. I had just recently written a 6,000 plus word article about the Königsegg Gemera. You should read it. It's unbelievable. I was thrilled to be able to visit. This is actually, when you design a harness, you you're actually you would actually put it on this board here. Huh? So essentially, th this is a drawing in scale one of one. Mm -hmm. And you build a complete harness on this one-to-one -one drawing. So this is the size that it's going to end up in. So just like you see on the table here, you would have the same type of drawing, but in a different format. This is for another harness uh, that's located in a different part of the car. And based on this drawing, you would have instructions of what type of connection to use at the end, what type of wires to use during the harnessing process, 
and of course you would have the computer on the side to constantly see the most updated version and okay. the paper won't update itself of course right uh, of course we have regular updates to the papers if there is needed mm -hmm. um, but yeah this is essentially your instruction on how to build it so you so, so people build your harnesses by hand right here it's right here so from here it essentially goes straight down into a car on the production line with a quick stop in the warehouse in between. Just got out of Koenigsegg headquarters, got to talk with some engineers, got to look at some cool hardware, got a tour of the factory. It was pretty cool. And I don't think anybody noticed that I smell like sea, so I think I fooled them. <laughs> 